Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Jonathan Dormish from IGN. I am here at PAX West 2018 with my wonderful coworker Tom Marks. Hello! And we just saw a bunch of cool games coming to Nintendo Switch. There is a lot coming, as they showed in that recent Nindy Showcase. We want to talk about a few of the coolest ones we saw. Tom, tell me about Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, I mean, this is one we've seen around for a while, but I was so happy to finally get a chance to play and on Switch. <laughs> Basically, it's a puzzle game, but you are a goose, and of you are a very sort of physics-y, wobbly <laughs> goose that can honk, and you annoy a farmer. Um, it's a very strange little game, uh, but you have a checklist of things you got to do that are like rake in the lake, and then you have to <laughs> grab the rake with your little beak, and then kind of pull it into the water, and that'll like check it off, and then you do other things. Uh, we don't really know what that full game is going to be like, or yeah. if there's going to be probably like levels. We're not totally sure. It doesn't even have a name yet. But um, <laughs> I hope it is Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, I, yeah, I do too. Yeah. But it's very fun. Yeah. I uh, More than watching the game, it's really fun to watch that. I love watching you try to act as a goose, so <laughs> I hope we get more of that too. Uh, I also want to talk to you about Zarva, which is Yeah. Tell me about that, because that was a little unexpected. Zarva was very unexpected. It's a very kind of simple looking game, right? It's got these cubes. It's a nice, like, uh, sort of bloomy art style. Uh, but it's set in sort of this world where you're very, very tiny and everything. It reminds me of Pikmin, right? Where you have these very surreal little elements in a uh, zoomed-in world where you're climbing on branches and You've stuff. You've got me there. Right. <laughs> uh, but everyone in the game is a cube. It's very, very simple that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and you kind of shoot as you go. And there's a story mode that is apparently a pretty deep story. Interesting. And then also a versus mode, which is what the game started as. And so you're shooting at each other. You're doing these jumps. There are all these different little abilities. And it was a really, really fun party versus game. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't expecting it. It was a lot more fun to play than it just kind of looked on the surface, and I, I was surprised by the depth there. Yeah, I uh, the complexity wasn't too overwhelming or anything for you? No, 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 okay. it wasn't. Cool. Yeah, uh, so I also saw Travis Strikes Again, the sort of No More Heroes follow-up that we've been waiting for for a while. It actually now has a release date. You can see that on IGN.com. Uh, but I got to play co-op with another partner, and this level that we were playing, it's actually the beginning of the game. It was mostly sort of hack and slashy, but you do have to make sure you revive, essentially, Travis's battery because he uh -huh. has been sucked into a video game, and so you have to play through the video game as Travis. Uh, you're collecting coins as you would in a real video game. You get to use those coins to unlock shirts that all have different indie game logos on them, which is really cool. In this demo, he had Hyper Light Drifter, and they also announced that Devolver Digital, they've partnered with them, so they'll have a lot of shirts based on them, which is really cool. But the combat was really fun. It was really silly. The whole script was fourth wall breaking, so there were parts where it'd be like, this is the PAX demo, so we have to speed it up for you <laughs> because the Nintendo booth is going to be very busy. Uh -huh. So there was a lot of humor there, which is what I expected, and there's a lot of, like, sort of mature, gross humor. So I think fans who want more of the No More Heroes aesthetic won't be disappointed based on the level we saw, but uh, obviously there's a lot more to come when that game comes out early next year. That's cool. Thankfully, there is also so much more to talk about at PAX West 2018 this year. Tom and I will be on the scene reporting the biggest games we see and everything at the show. You can also hear us talk about Levelhead, which we saw coming from Nintendo Switch soon. But of course, for everything PAX West, you're already in the right place. IGN.